With all the choices out there, it's so hard to pick your next ride. You want something reliable but striking. A vehicle that offers both performance and comfort. And most importantly, one that fits your lifestyle perfectly. Mitsubishi has launched the newest addition to its extensive lineup of cars. Let us share with you the latest from them. A five-seater compact crossover SUV, the Mitsubishi X-Force. Hey guys, my name is Don and I'm not a pro driver. Special thanks to our friend Ju of Soju Cars for making this possible. He was invited and hooked us up for the media drive. By the way guys, I recommend you subscribe to him if you haven't yet. Today is a special day and a first for the channel. Introducing my wife, she got to be part of the media drive and got to experience the X-Force firsthand. Hi guys, my name is Sal, the other half of Not A Bro Driver. So imagine a journey where comfort meets power, where every turn feels effortless, and where adventure knows no bounds. The Mitsubishi X-Force comes in two variants, and what we had the privilege of experiencing was the high-end model. Along with other media, we got to try this car out for three consecutive days, and let me tell you, I had a blast! We took it to a mix of city driving and somewhat extreme scenarios where we got a taste of the car's cutting-edge technology, its powerful yet efficient engine, and its versatile performance on different terrains. But before we show you the fun part, let me give you a rundown of what to expect with the Mitsubishi X-Force. It comes in three colors, yellow, black, and white. For the dimensions, the Mitsubishi X-Force is 1,660 millimeters wide with a height of 1,810 millimeters and a ground clearance of 222 millimeters. It is 4,390 millimeters long with a wheelbase of 2,650 millimeters. The Mitsubishi X-Force gives you that ready-to-go vibe when you look at it. You have the sleek and modern look that extends from the top to the hood. Of course, you have that iconic Mitsubishi grille. There are LED headlights and the DRL housed along with the dynamic shield that gives that extra oomph. Below that, you have plate holders, front fog lamps, and a bumper that protrudes a little bit. So now onto the side. Look at this car. I love how this car looks so sporty and ready. At the top portion, you have a two-tone floating roof design. Here are your side mirrors with lights for blind spot warning, push locks for the driver's door, and below that, you have this edgy looking cladding with diamond patterns throughout. Moving over to the wheel, you have 225-50 R18 two-tone alloy wheels with ventilated disc brakes at front and solid disc brakes at the rear. For the suspension, you have the McPherson strut independent axle front coupled with a torsion beam for the rear. The Mitsubishi X-Force has a fuel capacity of 42 liters and is rated to have a combined fuel economy of 15.36 kilometers per liter. Now, how's that for efficient? For the rear, it features a very futuristic rear Kinda reminds me like Iron Man's helmet. From the top, you have your third brake light, your wipers, of course, your Mitsubishi logo. You have LED rear lamps on the side, your X-Force badge, plate holders, and power tailgate exclusive for the high-end variant. If you're enjoying this video so far, hit that like button. We have a 1.5 liter engine with a maximum of 103 horsepower and 141 newton meters of torque. It is mated with a CVT which powers the two front wheels. And of course, you have your other serviceable parts in here as well. Moving over to the trunk, you have a cargo capacity of 480 liters when the seats are up, a thin privacy curtain for your luggage, lots of storage on the side, and of course, if you need extra space, then these seats can actually be folded down for more room. Just to give you an idea, here's the space with a lot of camera equipment and luggage in it. Guys, this isn't even stacked properly yet. So imagine if we have this properly stacked. Underneath all that is a compartment for your spare tire, which is a donut type. For the second row, here's your door cards. It's pretty standard, but still modern. 
You have a mix of plastic and leather for your armrest. Around here, you're gonna see this sort of diamond design that's similar to the cladding that you're gonna find outside. By the way, the Mitsubishi X-Force has these amazing speakers. It has a Yamaha Dynamic, two-way coaxial speakers on both sides for the second row. So here underneath, you have a bottle holder and some other space for your storage. For the high-end variant, which is this model, you have leather seats in a three-color synthetic leather combination of black, blue, and beige with anti-temperature which reduces the heat absorbed by the seats and keeps you cool. The seats are soft, but they're not too soft. It's just enough to give you the right amount of comfort and support. There are also seat belts and isofix tethers for safety. The second row seats three comfortably, but if there's only two of you, the middle backrest folds down to reveal your cup holders. There's ample legroom and floor area. There's also a small center tunnel, so still gives you a lot of space. It's actually surprising to see how much space you have here inside in comparison to how it looks outside. Sit on the second row and you have pockets in front of you. You have one below that can hold a lot of things and one up top which I really like. It's a perfect space for your phones, wallet, and what have you. Here you have two AC vents and two ports below. One USB-A and one USB-C. And of course, we have lights at the top and grab handles. Starting with the front passenger door, where you have pretty much the same material as the second row, except speakers here are not two-way coaxial. So moving on to the driver's door side, you have lock and unlock controls for the door, adjustments for your side mirrors, and window controls. So you have the same three color combination leather seats with manual adjustments. You have this really clean looking dash and speakers, one on each A pillar. Something to note is a vent here below the steering wheel. Here's the full view of the front from the second row. It looks so good. For the steering wheel, it actually feels nice and firm to the touch. On the left side of that, you have the volume, media, and navigation controls. Onto the right side, you have the cruise control, which seems like it's adaptive, voice command, and your call controls. Above, you have visors for the driver and passenger with vanity mirrors, your sunglasses compartment, dome light, switches, and a second row seat belt indicator panel. For this model, we have an 8-inch digital driver display. It's housed in this enclosure for better visibility, and you'll find data like drive computer, tire pressure, and direction. For the center console, you have your AC controls. I love the fact that these are actual physical buttons that you can toggle easily. You have memory settings here and a Nano X feature, which I believe is like a filter option. Below that, you have a 12-volt socket, USB-C and A ports, and a wireless charger pad below. Now at the center, you have your start and stop button, your shift knob, electronic parking brake, auto hold, and your drive mode selector. The Mitsubishi X-Force has four driving modes, normal, wet, gravel, and mud. I appreciate the fact that these are all modes that you can actually use in Philippine roads. And a hidden fifth one, the sport mode. So you have your cup holders and your center armrest that houses a compartment with cooling function. If you enjoy these types of car reviews, show your support and hit that subscribe button. The X-Force has a 12.3-inch infotainment display. I won't go into everything, but here are some highlights. There's the vehicle information screen that gives you the ambient temperature, barometer, and drive mode. There's also the driving score, fuel economy, and eco score. You can even customize the data that is shown on the instrument cluster. My favorite here is a driving score, which records the driver's driving habits and notes the ideal driving style. While entertaining, this feature significantly contributes to enhancing the safety on the road, which essentially makes you a better driver. Now let's get to the fun part. So first day of the media drive, we brought the Mitsubishi X-Force from Balintawak to Tarlac Circuit Hall. Features like adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist made it so easy to go through the busy roads of NLEX. Of course, there's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to keep us connected without the distractions, and not to mention those Yamaha speakers to keep you entertained for all your sound trips. Just to give you an idea of how those speakers perform, Here's Car 4 jamming to Barbie Girl for all you guys. You can play if you say I'm always yours. Initially, I didn't expect too much, but this car truly impressed me. We got the honor of being driven around by Tamura-san of Mitsubishi. We took the X-Force to the track to push its limits in terms of speed, 
balance, turning radius, and overall performance, and the results were nothing short of exhilarating. Speeding down the straights, the X4 delivered smooth acceleration, while its impeccable balance and precise steering made navigating tight corners a thrill. The car even performs well on wet roads, and that's impressive. Guys, we even took this bad boy off-road. We drove it on coarse roads, tackled crazy inclines, and powered through gravel and mud. Watching it handle these tough conditions, plus that suspension, was a revelation. Look at that thing drive! It's not just built for the city streets, it's ready for any adventure that you throw its way. Another adventure Mitsubishi took us on is a really steep incline up Santol Bilangan Road, and I can say that the x force handled it well. As the event grew to a close, it was evident that the Mitsubishi x force was more than just a new car. It was a statement of versatility, performance, and forward-thinking design. Driving it through various terrains and scenarios, we experienced firsthand its capability to adapt and excel, making it a compelling choice for a wide range of drivers. Pricing for the X-Force is 1,367,000 for the base GLS variant and 1,581,000 for the high-end GT variant. The X-Force wasn't just launched, it was unleashed, and we were privileged to be among the first to witness its power. Special thanks again to MMPC and our friend Drew for making this all possible. Again, this is Cell, the other half of Not A Pro Driver. Hanggang sa ulitin, Tita Kids!